Isaiah 56, 7, uh, actually starting in verse 6, and the foreigners who join themselves to the Lord to minister to him, to love the name of the Lord and to be his servant. So that's, I think, important to understand who's addressed in Isaiah 56, 7. It's really me. It's the Gentiles. It's the people outside the Jewish race, you know, the chosen people who decide to join themselves to the Lord. And I'm one of them, right? So this is about me. Uh, these I will bring, in verse 7, to my holy mountain. So God is speaking. And make them joyful in my house of prayer. So I love that because it's God that's doing the action, right? He's drawing. He's bringing them. He's making them joyful. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. I think that's a really important part of understanding prayer is enjoyable is that what you bring, in this case, you know, he's talking about the burnt offerings and the sacrifices, what you bring to God, your prayers, your voice, your weak knowledge of scripture, your, you know, for me, my, my not very tuneful songs, you know, whatever it is that you bring to God will be accepted, like he just wants you to come. And so a real key for a foundation, a foundation for enjoying prayers to understand first that God's enjoying you. Um, and then ends up for my house, shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. So here's one of the places in the Old Testament where you know, what God is doing on the earth gets blown out way beyond just the nation of Israel, which is important, but it's for all peoples. My house will be called a house of prayer for all peoples. And of course, this verse was incredibly legitimized because <laughs> Jesus quoted it when he was clearing the temple. He said, you know, for my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. So he quoted Jesus knew Isaiah 56, 7. He had it memorized. You know, we say this all the time in the house of prayer. Okay, Lord, you promised, you know, you're going to give us joy in the house of prayer. Here we are. We really need joy to be able to sustain prayer. And so we remind the Lord of that time and time again, and he's been very faithful to give us joy in the place of prayer.